Dear friends, welcome to this lecture series on botany. Today I am going to discuss coconut, its botany, cultivation and economic importance. I will begin my lecture with a brief introduction of coconut. The coconut palm, Cocos nucifera, is a member of the family Ericaceae. It is the only accepted species in the genus Cocos. It is commonly known as coconut tree in English and Naril ka ped in Hindi. The term coconut can refer to the entire coconut palm, the seed or the fruit, which botanically is a root, not a nut. The term coconut is derived from 16th century Portuguese and Spanish cocos, meaning grinning face, from the three small holes on the coconut shell that resemble human facial features. The major classification of coconut based on height is First, tall palms, sometimes referred to as variety typica. They are widely planted both for household and commercial use and grow to a height of 20 to 30 meters. They are slow maturing and flower 6 to 10 years after planting. They are normally cross pollinating and therefore considered to be heterozygous. Second, dwarf palms, also known as variety nana. These are believed to be mutants from tall taps with a height of 8 to 10 meters when 20 years old. They begin to flower after the third year of planting at less than 1 meter high. They are normally self-pollinating and therefore considered to be homozygous. Besides these two varieties, there is a third type known as hybrid palm, produced by crossing tall varieties with the dwarf varieties. Dear friends, now I will discuss the botany of the coconut palm. Number one, roots. The palm has adventitious roots continually produced from the basal swollen part of the trunk called as bowl. It has no tap root or root hairs, but has lots of primary roots, which bear large quantities of rootlets. Second, the stem. The main stem is normally unbranched with a thick swollen base surrounded by a mass of roots and is crowned by large peripinate leaves. The unbranched trunk is marked by prominent ring-like leaf scars. The coconut stem has no cambium. Third, the leaf. The first leaves of a coconut seedling have the pinnae fused together and appear as entire leaves. After eight to ten pinnae have been formed, subsequent leaves tend to split into leaflets. Generally, a Normal adult palm produces 12 to 16 leaves annually, each bearing a corresponding flower cluster that is inflorescence. There are about 30 to 40 leaves in a healthy crown. The age of an adult palm is correlated with the number of leaf scars. The number of leaf scars on the stem divided by 13 gives the approximate age of the palm in years. Fourth, the inflorescence. The inflorescence present in coconut is called as spadex, which is born singly in the axil of each leaf. The inflorescence develops within a strong, tough, pointed double sheath called as spath. When the spath is fully grown, the entire structure is collectively called as spadex. The coconut palm is monoecious, that is producing both male and female flowers on the same inflorescence. The male flowers are more numerous than the female flowers. There are about 8,000 to 10,000 male flowers per inflorescence. The male flowers are born on the top portion of the spikelets, which are attached to the main axis or peduncle. The female flowers are situated at the base of the spikelets. Each male flower consists of a parent of six small, unequal tipples, which are in two worlds of three each the outer being smaller in size. The six stamens are arranged in two worlds. The gynosium is rudimentary. The female flowers, on the other hand, consist of three-celled ovaries, which are closely invested into two worlds of parent of nearly equal size. After fertilization of two of the three carpels, degenerate and the third develop into a fruit. The number of fruits which reach maturity is generally between 3 to 7 per inflorescence. 
the male flowers open 10 to 20 days before the female flowers and hence the cross pollination is a rule. In some dwarfs, particularly the Malayan dwarf, overlapping of the male and female phases takes place, promoting selfing. Hence these dwarfs are reasonably homozygous. Fifth, the fruit. Botanically speaking, the coconut fruit is a fibrous droop, not a true nut, which is usually ovoid, 15 to 30 centimeters long, and it contains a single seed or embryo. Like other fruits, it has three layers, that is exocarp, mesocarp, and endocarp. Besides these three layers, the coconut fruit includes endosperm and embryo. The coconut shell has three germination pores at the basal and that are clearly visible on its outer surface once the husk is removed. One of the eyes is larger and softer and under this is located a small embryo, the two being harder and smaller which represent the aborted carpels. Lastly, the seed. The endocarp encloses a single hollow seed. When the seed germinates, the radical pushes out through one of the eyes of the shell. Now, the natural habitat of coconut palm. The coconut palm thrives best on sandy soils and is highly tolerant of salinity. It prefers areas with abundant sunlight and regular rainfall. Coconuts also need high humidity for their optimum growth. Now, the conditions required for coconut trees to grow optimally are first, mean daily temperature above 12 to 13 degrees Celsius every day. Second, mean yearly rainfall above 1000 millimeters. And lastly, no or very little overhead canopy. Now I will discuss the cultivation of coconut palm. First, the land preparation. Like other crops, Coconut cannot be established in thick vegetation. Clearing of debris from thick vegetation is primarily necessary to eliminate possible breeding sites for the destructive rhinoceros beetle. Second, staking of field layout. Staking is done following the triangular system. Third, hole preparation. The planting holes are usually prepared two to three months prior to transplantation to allow withering of the soil on the sides and bottom of the holes. The size of the planting hole depends upon the soil texture and groundwater level. Fourth is selection of seed nuts. It has been concluded by various studies that seed nuts with thin husks and higher husk nut weight are likely to give vigorous seedlings. Now fifth. Storage of seed nuts. Under normal conditions, storage of seed nuts in the shade for about a month prior to sowing in the nursery facilitates speedy and maximum germination. Sixth, nursery technique. The practice of raising seedlings in the nursery for subsequent planting is essential because selection of seedlings is facilitated in the nursery. Seventh, Selection of seedlings. It has been proved that seedling selection alone can increase yield by about 10%. Selection of seedlings is done on the basis of certain characteristics like early germination, vigor of seedling, optimum age of seedlings for transplantation. Eighth, planting of seedlings. The best time to transplant seedlings is at the onset of the rainy season. Field nursery seedlings should be planted immediately or at the latest three days after the removal from the nursery to do the mortality. Ninth, propagation. For propagation of coconut, the whole mature fruits are selected from the high yielding varieties which are healthy, middle-aged and have other desirable characters and are put into the seed bed, at best horizontally with the narrow side downwards and covered with earth so that the top edge is above the surface. Tenth is harvesting of coconuts. Coconuts are harvested at varying intervals in a year in well-maintained and high yielding gardens. 
Bunches are produced regularly and harvesting is done once a month. Now processing. The nuts are first separated from the fibrous husks and then the nuts are split with a heavy knife and left to lie in the sun for a while to dry so that the endosperm is more easily removed from the shell. Now coconut production. Coconut palms are grown in more than 80 countries of the world with a total production of 61 million tons per year. The leading producer of coconut in the world is Philippines followed by Indonesia, India and Brazil. In India, the leading producers of coconut are Kerala followed by Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Now I will discuss the disease of the coconut palm. Coconut production in coconut growing areas is affected by a number of diseases of which the coconut root field disease is of utmost concern. The major diseases along with their causative agents are root wheel disease caused by phytoplasma species, second bud rot disease caused by Phytophthora parasitica and third leaf rot disease caused by Fusarium solanae. Other diseases include Mahali disease, stem bleeding and basal stem rot. Now the pests. The coconut palm is damaged by a number of insect and non-insect pests. The most devastating among them are rhinoceros beetle, red palm weevil, termites and rodents. Now control of pests. Spraying with 0.4% vetable sulfur or with neem based pesticides can give some relief against mites. 1% bodox paste is used to control bud rot and leaf rot. I will now discuss the economic importance of the coconut. The coconut palm is grown throughout the tropics for decoration as well as for its many culinary and non-culinary uses. First, culinary use. The nut provides oil for frying and cooking. The coconut meat is used fresh or dried during cooking, especially in confections. Coconut chips have been sold in the tourist regions of Hawaii and Caribbean. Second, coconut water. It is consumed as a refreshing drink throughout the humid tropics. Third, coconut milk. The milk can be used to produce virgin coconut oil. Fourth, coconut oil. It is commonly used in cooking, especially for frying. It is also used in manufacture of soaps, hair oil, creams, cosmetics, safety glass for airplanes and motor cars. Fifth, toddy and nectar. The sap dried from incising the flower clusters of the coconut is drunk and is known as toddy. Now the sap can be reduced by boiling to create a sweet syrup called as nectar. Sixth, heart of palm. Apical buds of adult plants are edible and are known as palm cabbage or heart of palm. Now the commercial, industrial and household uses. First, coir or coconut fiber is obtained from the husk of the coconut. They are used for manufacturing ropes, mats, brushes, sacks, shockproof packed material, hardboards and as stuffing fiber. Second, coconut fronds. The stiff midrib of coconut leaves are used for making brooms, baskets, mats and for roofing thatch. Third, copra. Copra is the dried meat of the seed and after processing, it produces coconut oil and coconut meal. Fourth, husks and shells. The husk and shells can be used for fuel and are a source of charcoal. Fifth, coconut trunk. Coconut trunks are used for building small bridges and for house construction. Sixth, coconut shell floor. It is extensively used as a compound filler for synthetic resin glues. This is also used successfully in mastic adhesives, resin casting, mild abrasive products and hand cleansers. Seventh, coconut roots. The roots are used as a tie, mouthwash, astringent 
and a medicine for diarrhea and dysentery. The roots are also roasted, ground and used as dentifrice. A fried piece of root can also be used as a toothbrush. Eighth, used in beauty products. Coconuts are used in beauty industry in the moisturizers, body butters and detergents. Now role in culture and religion. A coconut is an essential element of rituals in Hindu tradition. It is offered during worship to a Hindu god or goddess. Now medicinal uses. Coconuts may help in curing benign prostatic hyperplasia. Coconut peel may also contain novel anti-cancer compounds. Now other uses. The leftover fiber from the coconut oil, coconut milk production and coconut meal is used as a livestock feed. The dried calyx is used as a fuel in wood-fired stoves. Coconut water is traditionally used as a growth supplement in plant tissue culture or micropropagation. Tool and shelter for animals. Researchers from the Melbourne Museum in Australia observed that the octopus species, that is Ampi octopus marginatus, use tools, specifically coconut shells, for their defense and shelter. It is the first invertebrate known to be able to use tools. Dear students, I will now talk about the allergies caused by the coconut. First, food allergies. Coconut can be a food allergen, although its prevalence varies from country to country. Second, topical allergies. Coconut derived products can cause contact dermatitis. They can be present in cosmetics, including some shampoos, moisturizers, soaps, and hand washing liquids. Because of its utmost importance. The coconut plant is commonly called as the tree of life or the tree of thousand hues. Dear friends, with this we come to the end of today's topic. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much.